is an Aesop's fable. They're very short stories. They usually have animals that walk and talk like people, and they always have an important lesson or truth in it for us. This is a story of the old lion. You see, once there was an old lion. His coat was not as golden as it once had been. His roar was not as loud as it once had been. He wearily flexed his worn down claws and clicked his worn down teeth once or twice and sighed. <gasps> it's not as easy to catch my dinner as when I was young. It's time to turn to trickery. And he sent word out to all the animals. Let it be known that I, the king, am very ill. Anyone who wants to see me one last time should come soon and pay me a visit. And he went into his cave and waited. And the word went out soon, all the animals heard, and they said, have you heard? The king is very ill. Have you heard? They say the king is dying. They say he's so weak, he can hardly lift a paw. And one by one, the animals came to pay the king a visit. Rabbit came. Rabbit hopped right up to that cave and called out, mm, Your Highness, I've come to see how you are. And the old lion sang out in a weak voice, Come into my cave, I'm so weak. Oh my, I'm so weak. Whoa, my, I can hardly speak. And the rabbit went into the cave and was never seen again. Oh. Cat came, cat meandered right up to that cave and called out, Your Highness, I've come to see how you are. And again, that old lion sang out in his weak voice, and you can sing him along with me too. Are you ready? Come into my cave, I'm so weak. Oh my, I'm so weak. Oh my, I can hardly speak. And the cat went into the cave and was never seen again. Dog came, dog bounded right up to that cave and barked, Your Highness, I've come to see how you are. And again, that old lion sang out in his weak voice, Come into my cave, I'm so weak. Oh my, I'm so weak. Oh my, I can hardly speak. And the dog went into the cave and was never seen again. One by one, the animals came. And one by one, they disappeared. And meanwhile, Lion was getting nice and fat on his diet of friends. Oh. Now Fox came. The fox um, very cautiously stopped some distance from that cave, and he called out, Your Highness, I've come to see how you are. And the old lion said, Is that you, my friend? You're so far away, I can, I can hardly hear you. Come closer. And the fox looked to the left, and looked to the right of the cave, and he said, uh, Your Highness, um, I see many footprints leading into your cave, but none leading back out. Tell me, how do your friends leave? Oh, the lion was so furious that he'd been found out, and he let out a furious roar. And the fox went running away, but first called out, You'll pardon me for not staying, Your Highness, but you see, I learned long ago that a wise man can learn from the mistakes of others. And that's the story of the old life. Yeah. Yay. Yay.